Hey guys, welcome back to WSSA. I'm Caleb. And I'm Eve. And seniors, we only have Three. five more weeks until we can get rid of these blue blazers and those ugly khaki pants that people wear on formal dress days. Uh, things are looking up as more and more students and faculty are getting vaccinated. We actually were able to have some WSSA members document some of the teachers getting their first dose. Over to you, Noah. Hi, my name is Noah Delisma. Today is March 12th. 2021, almost a year after our extended spring break was announced. And today we'll be looking at Shadyside's Operation Vaccination, where they will be vaccinating almost 400 educators in the Pittsburgh area. Let's take a look inside. Welcome to Curry Jam and Melon Jam for our day at clinic. I'm the Chief Financial and Operations Officer for Shadyside. Uh, we are super thrilled to be able to partner with Rite Aid to offer this on-site clinic, not only for IR teachers and staff, but for all the other schools as well. So I think we have, I think just about all of our partner schools are here too, to get all of their faculty and staff vaccinated. Um, this was an amazing day to come together in a really short period of time. So we've been really grateful that parents and students and all of our employees have participated in this to help make it happen. Um, we started at 9 o'clock this morning. We'll go to 4 o'clock today. We'll vaccinate uh, over 400 people. And this is our first shot of two. The second one will happen in 28 days um, on April 10th because this is the Moderna vaccine. Hello, I'm here with... Uh, Ms. Hurst, one of the college counselors. I'm uh, Ms. Siegel. I teach at the middle school and I teach Spanish. I'm Carolina Salazar, and I also teach Spanish at the middle school. All right, so Mr. Azak, you just got the vaccine. I did? Yeah, how did it feel? Did it hurt? No, you know what? It went really well, and I am a shot whip. Uh, and so, even with that said, uh, I sat down, uh, the woman took care of me, and it was, it was over before I knew it. And how are you feeling in this moment right now compared to last summer or even term three of last year? 
I'm just really happy. I'm just really, really, really happy for everybody, for our country. Like, I feel really cheesy when I say that, but I'm just, I'm feeling very, like, just excited about everything right now. Uh, I feel like we are getting out of the tunnel, um, just passing these these hard moments for for all the humanity in general. So I think I feel positive that we are going to recover uh, our normal lives very soon. Yeah, I mean, I'm thrilled. I, honestly, I'm absolutely thrilled. It's been an amazing day. We had off school. Yeah. That never misses. I fished this morning. I caught four trout. And I got my, I got my shot. Like, everything's coming up roses. I'm looking forward to going back to life um, before and traveling and getting together with my friends and family, not having to worry about getting sick. So I'm just very excited to have this opportunity. We're not out of the woods. Things are, you know, so hard, and, and there's going to be hard times ahead still. But I'm just very, very optimistic. I think the vaccine makes us all very optimistic for our future, and things are going to start to look brighter. I think next year is going to be a lot better. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Yay, science! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's so exciting to see people getting vaccinated, especially on our own campus. But that wasn't the only inspiring thing happening on campus. Let's take a look at the Strength in Numbers event orchestrated by our very own students. Good morning, everyone. Welcome and thank you so much for coming to the Strength in Numbers demonstration. So today we just really wanted to physically show how many more people there are who do accept one another than those who don't. It's not meant to be like, we're just gonna have this event and then all of our problems and um, conflicts are gonna be solved. That wasn't the idea at all. It was mainly just to show unity and be able to come together before spring break. I think this is something that will continue in the school, continue to grow. And I, having always been the quiet kid, um, really felt the need to say something honestly and to actually do something rather than sit on the sidelines this time. The community we all know and love cannot be a community where we allow hatred to fester. We must stand together, unified against racism, homophobia, sexism, transphobia, xenophobia, and all types of bigotry. And we must work intentionally, not just towards tolerance, but towards full-hearted acceptance. The work is hard, but we will all be better for it, because the community cannot stand when bigotry lives within it. Thank you. I think it's really important that like for the individuals, I, I certainly felt supported. I think other people probably felt that way too. And while this certainly isn't like the last like thing that we have to do, we have a lot more work that we need to do. Um, it does help each one of us feel like we're a part of this community and feel that we're accepted here. Please step forward if you identify as a person of color. Please step forward if you are a lifer. If you are an athlete. You were born in a different country. This demonstration has nothing to do with politics or parties, but more so has to do with making sure that our school community is safe and accept is a safe and accepting place for all, and that every day we are working to be the kindest, most empathetic people that we can be. And last but not least, here's the Ocho with a look at spring sports. Hello, I'm Ryan Jones. And I'm Autumn. And this is my senior sage. And you're still junior. Hi, I'm Ryan, and this is my junior journey. Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Autumn, and this is Ocho's top five plays of the week. We still do that. Hello, I'm Ryan. And I'm Autumn, and this is ESPN 8 The Ocho. Today, we will be interviewing elite athletes here at the Academy. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Emery. I'm a senior on the girls lacrosse team. Uh, hi, I'm Case Rivero. I am a senior on the track team and I am a captain. So how has COVID affected your team this year? Um, COVID has definitely affected our team. It took us a while to get used to each other and get into a rhythm and just being able to work as a team. Every day we're getting better and closer to where we need to be for Whippeals and playoffs. How does the team look this year? A little thinner on numbers. I think the girls team uh, has about normal size numbers, but the boys team a little bit smaller. I think everyone's having a lot of fun and everyone's putting their all into it, even though this is a really difficult season to get through for everyone. All right, and lastly, who is your favorite SSA athlete? Um, Probably either Karam or Nate Ewell. Co-captain Melissa Riggins. I don't know if you've seen her run, but if you haven't, you should absolutely come to a meet and see her. She is incredible. And I'm here with Dev Voice. Dev is the captain of our Ultimate Frisbee team. What are you looking forward to next year? So we have a lot of freshmen this year, and a lot of them are looking like 
they'll be they'll be pretty good. We've got some good handlers. I'm looking forward to seeing how they'll do next year when we're actually faced with competition and how I'll do as a senior team captain. I'm here with Caden and Aiden. You are two representatives for the Shadeside Academy Bulldogs baseball team. Do you think our Shadeside Bulldogs are better than the Pittsburgh Pirates? Given how bad the Pirates have played the last few How years. terrible. Terrible the Pirates have played the last few years. I'd say we're better than that team. In a five-game series, what's it going to be? You might as well bring out the brooms already. I think we're sweeping them. How's the season going so far, man? It's going pretty well so far. We had a tough loss against Sarah last night. It was a good team, but we'll bounce back next week. What are you looking forward to? And I'm looking forward to playoffs and facing Sarah Catholic again. Those are all the interviews we have for today. Back to you, Dan. Well, it's the last half of the last term, and should you need any motivation to keep going, just know that this isn't the last time you'll see me and Caleb. Stay classy.